Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Melissa, and if you guys like anything or everything food, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any more food videos. So today I have Starbucks. They came out with their holiday Christmas 2020 line. They have five drinks, which I ordered all of them, and I also ordered a couple of their pastries. They did mess up. I ordered a Cranberry Bliss Bar, which they didn't end up charging me for, so I didn't get it. So what I'm gonna dig into first is the pastries. This one they mentioned is a new item. This is their orange cranberry scone. They mentioned that they could not warm it up. I don't understand the reason for that. I don't know if it's because of COVID or whatever, but they can't. And so, uh, you know, as I'm holding this right now, it does feel soft. One of the things that I don't really like about scones in general is that they're usually really hard, like rock solid hard. And so I was hoping that if they warmed it up, it'd be softer, but it doesn't look like that will be the case here. Check this out out I love cranberries and I do like citrus in my desserts so I think this will be good mm. it tastes like a lemon loaf more than it does orange and I love anything like lemon lemon cakes lemon seven up cakes it kind of tastes like a lemon seven up cake with cranberries in it that's actually really good mm. it is soft and it has like a little bit of drizzle on it i'm not sure what the drizzle is it's probably just like a sugar icing mm. It's good. One more bite. It's not too sweet. I like that. That would be really good warmed up. Next thing I want to try is their sugar plum cheese danish. Ooh. It kind of has like a croissant breading, like how it's flaky. A croissant cheese danish. Mm, I hope it's like cream cheese. It looks good. I'm going to try it. I mostly got a ton of bread. I want to get the middle here. I'm going to break it apart. The bread's good though. It's just like a jam. It almost tastes like strawberry a strawberry jam. I kind of wish there was more of like a cream cheese filling. That's good. It tastes like a, you know, like those turnovers, like apple pie turnovers. I'm going to put a picture up here so you guys know what I'm talking about. That's exactly what this tastes like, but with like strawberry jam. It's really good. Mmm. I think I want to eat that all. That's so good. Better than the scone. All right. I wasn't even going to get this, honestly, but they didn't have any more of the snowman cake pops. This looks like a sugar cookie. This looks like something that little kids would really enjoy because of that sugary frosting. Here it is. It's really cute though. Mmm, it's really soft. Mmm. Mmm, they use like white chocolate. I thought it was gonna be a sugar frosting. They use chocolate. Mmm. This is actually really good. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here <laughs> because as you can see on the bottom, they have like those sugar crystals, which I don't like. I don't like them. Those are for five-year-olds. 
Mm. That white chocolate is what made this cookie. Wow. I'm pleasantly surprised with that cookie. Let's get on to the drinks. The first thing I want to try is the eggnog latte because I don't really know if I like eggnog. I've only ever had it once and it was in the form of a milkshake. Let's just say I didn't like it, okay? So I'm gonna give it a second chance because my husband said that his favorite Christmas drink from Starbucks is the eggnog latte. Hopefully he doesn't do me dirty. Hopefully it's actually really good. Okay, ooh, first try. So here we have, let me just make sure they don't have the location. Okay, here we have the eggnog latte look at their new holiday cups you know we're used to the red cups right but they have a new line of holiday cups i think they only gave me two different kinds and that's okay okay i don't know why but i'm nervous to try this for some reason i want to smell it hold on i don't know why i'm nervous to try this I don't really like how it smells. Okay, the other thing is I had a latte the other day earlier this week and it effed up my stomach. Anything for the YouTube though. Uh, it doesn't taste bad. Hmm. I feel like I'm drinking more of the whipped cream, so it's really sweet on the top. It's nice and sweet, actually. Okay, this is nothing like the eggnog shake that I had, so I don't know what really eggnog should taste like. I don't know, this tastes like hot milk with some flavoring <laughs> in it. By the way, I got grandes in all of these. <coughs> and each one was $5.25. Okay, well, that wasn't horrible. Let's try the one that's in my lap. This one is, ooh, this is a chestnut and praline. This totally sounds like a holiday drink. Whenever I think of pralines, I think of the pralines and cream ice cream from Baskin Robbins, which I personally, it's one of my favorites. It has like the nuts in there, the caramel. Okay, let's try this one. This one is a new cup. Look, it looks like a Christmas tree with ornaments. <clears throat> I want to say I've had this before. Okay. Mmm, this one smells so good. You know what? It smells better than it tastes. I was hoping it'd be a little bit sweeter. I also feel like these are all gonna start tasting the same. You know when you're like shopping for perfume or cologne you know how they have you smell the coffee beans to like reset your not your palate but like you know what i mean what do you do when you're trying to taste different coffee like water in between <clears throat> that's interesting i kind of feel like i like the eggnog latte over the chestnut praline that's interesting. I thought I'd really, really like this one. All right, let's try the next one. What we got? Okay, we have the peppermint mocha. I love these, but I can't have too much. Okay. Mm. Thank God they had stoppers for these drinks. Okay, let's try this. I've had this before though, honestly. Mm -hmm. This makes me want to be cuddled up next to a fireplace, watching a movie. 
is basically hot chocolate with a little bit of peppermint in it. Mm, so good. This is really good when you're craving caffeine, but not necessarily craving like a coffee flavor. This is perfect. Mm, makes me think of like peppermint bark. Mm, that's so good. Every time I drink one of these, all the mocha usually sits at the bottom. That's like the part I don't like, it's too much. This is good, what can I say? Oh my God, am I the only one who gets super giddy about Starbucks holiday drinks? Just their cups alone, they're so cute. Okay, we have two left. This is the toasted white mocha. Again, I think this is new. I don't think they've ever had this, but you guys will let me know, I'm sure, in the comment section below. <clears throat> That's kind of weird. I don't know. They have like something red. Can you guys see this? It's like red. What is that? Hmm. I'm gonna be wired for the rest of the day. I don't know. I thought it would taste much like their white chocolate mocha lattes with, I don't know, like a smoky flavor, but I don't really get that. I swear you guys, honestly, these are all tasting the same. I think I like the white chocolate mocha better. Oh. I'm not really selling this to you guys, am I? <laughs> okay, last but not least. Actually, I don't remember what this one is. Ooh, the caramel boule latte. I've had this before. It's not something I like regularly order during the holidays, but um, like if they didn't have the gingerbread latte, this is something that I would order in exchange. But what I do remember from this one is that it's really, really sweet. That's all I really remember from it. I can only take like a couple sips and then it's too much. I remember like on the whipped cream, they would put some yellow sprinkles on there. Hmm. It tastes like how I remember it. Mm. This one's so good. How do I describe this? It tastes like a snuggle in a cup, <laughs> you know, like it's just everything holiday to me. Mm. I don't know if you guys could hear that. My stomach was grumbling. I hope my stomach's not going to be like effed up. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and rate all these drinks. Again, I have all of them in front of me so we have five total the caramel brulee latte is gonna rate number one for me then i'm gonna have to say it is peppermint mocha third is gonna be the eggnog latte and then the bottom for me is the toasted white mocha and then also the chestnut and praline yeah, I think that's how it's gonna go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see this face again. Keep it yummy. Mwah.